A lady love bug cake. Today we are doing two versions of it, a cute and a scary version. This is just in time for Valentine's and Galentine's Day. Hello everyone, my name is Matt LeBlanc. Let's get started. Now before we get into the video, I wanna remind you that there are links in the description box so you can help save animals from the wildfires in Australia. The animals that have been rescued still need nurturing while habitats and sanctuaries are being built. It's not in the news really anymore in Los Angeles, but I want to make sure you know that you're not forgotten. Okay, so let's get to it. I've got six inch half dome cakes for the head and four inch half dome cakes for the body. Usually I use three inch, but I want them to be a little bit more plump and a little bit more round, so that's why I'm going with a bigger size. Got icing, I've got my cake board. It's seven in the morning so i'm eating oatmeal i don't know why they told me to eat oatmeal in the morning because it tastes terrible so some of you have asked me about these i have to use supports to hold up the bottom of my head and so i use like three or four wooden sort of supports to shape the bottom of it i used to use these which are cardboard but because i don't really give my cakes away i like to reuse everything which is why i'm using wooden supports, and also a wooden cake board. Oh, uh, and do you guys, why does this happen to wood when you paint it also? Does anyone know? So we got everything ready, let's get to building. I decided to go with pink Funfetti cake because Valentine's Day, that's why. I decided to create a lady love bug because I thought it would be really cute. And also I think the love bug is kind of a gruesome creature even though it's depicted as something that's very cute and happy. Oh, you got bit by the love bug. But in actuality, now you are crazy. <laughs> love is a beautiful thing, you guys. But also it makes you Super crazy and I really wanted to show the cute and disgusting side of love within this love bug. Okay guys, so here is my cute and scary love bug cake, all crumb coated. The kawaii side, very simple. I didn't do any carving on this side. On the other side, however, don't you like my technique? I made it symmetrical and then I started to create lines so I can carve the perfect shape to create each of the eyes. But I'm very pleased with this. It's a very basic shape, right? Let's start adding some fondant. I wonder how many of you have actually been bitten by the love bug. I don't, nobody ever says it now, but back in the day, way back in that day, people would be like, oh, he's bitten by the love bug, such a beautiful thing. No, it's not. It's not. You weren't bitten. You were mauled. <laughs> Let's be honest. Something took a big chunk out of you, and now you're not in control of your body. All right, it's a sickness is what it is. There are good aspects of the sickness, like, you know, not going to the movies by yourself, which there's no shame in, cause I still do it, but also maybe there's a little bit of shame. <laughs> Love makes you do crazy things. Remember the astronaut lady driving in the diapers? Y'all know that story. That was not a beautiful thing. Those emotions of beauty and lust and infatuation do come up, but then also the disgusting side of you can't sleep, you can't eat, your thoughts are not your own at the beginning, it corrupts you completely.
Now for the scary side, I tried to incorporate just a lot of different bugs that I found disgusting. Uh, I really wanted to make sure that I got this side to look like an actual exoskeleton of a bug. Layering font in to give it some more armored exoskeleton looks. And I decided that I wanted it to have like four pincers, like two at the bottom, two at the top, and give it this sort of like, so it like, from all four angles, it just like consumes you like this or bites you. You know? And when its mouth opens up, it exposes like this huge set of gums. And I wanted it to be reminiscent of like the brain monster in Starship Troopers. Do you remember that? All right, so this is my love bug so far. Very simple. Out for the scary side. Yes, this looks terrifying. <laughs> I love the pincers, I love the double eyes, I love, oh uh, god, I just love all the texture that I created. So the next step is to finish the kawaii side. Let's do that, and then I can start adding the rest of the features onto the scary side. Let's get to it. Now when I was adding all of the facial features to the kawaii side, I tried to incorporate as many hearts as I could. I wanted to incorporate hearts onto the red wings, but I didn't have any good heart cookie cutters that were big enough to be the polka dots, which is why I just left them as circles. Now I'm curious, how many of you have actually been bitten by the love bug. What is the craziest thing this sickness has made you do? Are you that person that uses somebody's sleeping thumb to open their phone? Is that you? Oh gosh, I hope that's not you. <laughs> also, because that's me. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, maybe. Now, one of my favorite things about this cake was creating all of the bug limbs. You know, creating all of the black limbs for the kawaii side, and then creating all of the very detailed, very sharp insect legs for the scary side. So we got this very cute lady love bug. I love it. Now the red panels on the side, I cheated them just a little so that you can see more of it on the front. And it kind of looks like a cape, like a James Brown sort of cape. I also added hearts on three places on its head so that you know that it's a lady love bug and not just a ladybug. Now for the scary side, I'm loving this too. <laughs> I love all of the like pincers that I added to the teeth and then I gave it some really nice long claws so that it can hook onto its next victim pretty easily. You can see that I screwed up here on the side. I'm just gonna end up painting that black with some black food coloring so that I can blend it in. I know, I messed up, but that's okay. Look how cool this looks. Okay, the only thing I have to do now is paint. So let's get to it. I'm painting this with a diluted magic sauce concoction. There's just green and brown and black food coloring just to give the scary side a little bit more of a disgusting look. I wanted it to look like it had just come out of like a whole bunch of slime. Now the gums, you didn't see it at first but I wanted to make sure that you had like this red opening in between two of the top pincers. And it just looks so gruesome, doesn't it? Now just like the Kawaii side, I decided to give it that sort of heart feature in the middle of the head, almost like a curly cue. I added some black to the sides of the head, but I decided that I wanted to keep the body of the scary side beige because I wanted to make sure that you saw all the detail that I carved. So instead of painting on black to his belly, I just did the tips of all of his like fingers or insect legs. Then voila, my cute and scary love bug was complete. What do you think? Do you like it? I'm in love with it. Now there are some problems with it. Like I said, there's problems with the seam right here. I painted it black so it's not as present, but it's still there. And also the top of the back, you can see right there. 
You can see it, I didn't hide it properly. I know it probably is gonna bother me when I take pictures of it, but Photoshop, you guys, Photoshop. I think this is such a cute ladybug. And so when you turn it around and you see the monster, it's so surprising. Now my favorite part about the monster, besides all of the claws and all of the like armor shell details, what is it like the exoskeleton of the bug? I love this aspect of it. It reminds me of the monsters from Starship Troopers. Do you remember that movie? I love that movie, even though the main character was supposed to be Filipino and they turned him white, but who cares? It was the 90s. They were doing that all the time. The four eyes are good and I love that I took the upside down heart from my lady love bug and added it to this, right? Now I can turn anything into a cute and scary cake. I'm currently working on a robot and I just finished an alien cake because one of you suggested it in the comments. So if you want to see something turned into a cute and scary cake, then let me know in the comments. Like a cookie, like a chocolate chip cookie, or even like a dragon, or maybe like a cup. I could, a, how? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.